Have you ever wondered about the unsung heroes who shaped the course of American history? Today we set sail on the vast oceans of knowledge to investigate the incredible story of the USS Long Beach. So prepare yourself for a voyage you won't want to miss. The USS Long Beach was the first nuclear-powered surface combatant in history and guided missile cruiser in the US Navy. She was the third Navy vessel to bear the Long Beach, California name and was the last cruiser constructed for the US Navy using a cruiser design. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the USS Long Beach was the first ever nuclear-powered guided missile cruiser? She was first commissioned as CLGN-160 and was reclassified as CGN-160 in 1957. Mrs. Marion Swanson Hosmer sponsored her launch on July 14, 1959 and she was commissioned on September 9, 1961. The ship cost $320 million when it was first commissioned, which translates to an astounding $3.13 billion today. The nuclear-powered cruiser USS Long Beach served as the Atlantic Fleet's flagship and is regarded as one of the most beautiful ships of the Cold War era. The USS Long Beach, which was 721 feet long and weighed 1,700 tons, had a unique box-like structure that contained the ScanFAR system. This system contained the AN-SPS-32 and AN-SPS-33 phased array radars, which offered air surveillance and target tracking capabilities. Modern radar equipment and the ship's distinctive designs set it to distinguish from other ships of its time. The USS Long Beach's two C-1W pressurized water reactors allowed it to run for an extended period of time without refueling. The steam generators and heat exchangers in the reactors produced hot, pressurized water which was then superheated and used to power two general electric turbines. The ship's max speed of more than 30 knots was made possible by this propulsion system. HY-80 steel, a high-strength low-alloy steel created by the U.S. Navy for the construction of naval ships, was used to build the USS Long Beach. In the severe marine environment, HY-80's superior strength, hardness, and corrosion resistance made it the perfect weapon. The USS Long Beach was a powerful naval vessel equipped with various advanced weapon systems. One of its key components was the Terrier surface-to-air missile system, which could engage and intercept airborne threats, including enemy aircraft and missiles, with a remarkable range of up to 40 miles and high-speed intercept capabilities. Additionally, the ship possessed torpedo tubes for launching anti-submarine torpedoes, enhancing its anti-submarine warfare capabilities. The 5-inch 38 caliber guns provided close-range firepower for engaging surface targets and defending against potential threats. The USS Long Beach also featured state-of-the-art radar systems including the AN-SPS-32 and AN-SPS-33 phased array radars. These radar systems enabled the ship to detect and track targets accurately, particularly airborne threats, enhancing its air surveillance capabilities. Furthermore, the vessel had various supporting equipment and technologies, such as electronic warfare systems, communication systems, and fire control systems. These systems coordinated the ship's weapon systems and facilitated accurate target engagement. During its service life, the USS Long Beach demonstrated its endurance and capabilities in Operation Sea Orbit, an around-the-world cruise lasting 65 days. Alongside the USS Enterprise and USS Brainbridge, the Nuclear Power Task Force covered a distance of 30,565 miles, refueling or resupplying at an average speed of 25 knots. This showcased the ship's long-range and self-sustaining capabilities, which far exceeded those of conventionally powered vessels. One of the most notable achievements of the USS Long Beach was the successful engagement of enemy aircraft during the Vietnam War. In 1968, the ship's surface-to-air missiles shot down two Vietnamese MiG aircraft at ranges exceeding 60 miles. This marked the first ever drowning of a hostile aircraft by a missile fired from a ship. In 1980, the ship rescued 114 Vietnamese boat people off the coast of Vietnam. Long Beach served as an escort for the USS Missouri, or BB-63 Task Group, and supplied aircraft carrier escort assistance following the Gulf War in 1991. Long Beach was sent to the region on May 28, 1991 to support Operation Provide Comfort, which took place after Operation Desert Storm finished and the primary hostilities seized in late February 1991. The USS Long Beach was decommissioned in 1995. Despite its remarkable performance and technical breakthroughs, budget cuts and the greater running expenses connected with nuclear-powered ships as compared to conventionally-powered ones impacted the decision to retire the nuclear cruisers. 
As we come to the end of our journey through the fascinating history of the USS Long Beach, we're left with awe and appreciation for this extraordinary ship and its courageous crew. How do you think it's influenced the design of current naval vessels? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys soon.